So here I have an iPad and I have an iPhone. So if I create marks or routes or, or take a picture or catch from either this device, uh, it will synchronize all of my user objects on the network. So that's great. So here, for example, just to show you what I can do, uh, I'm going to create a route on my phone just to show you how it is and how you do that. You just tap anywhere on the screen. Uh, you have a pop-up menu. I'm going to select new route and I'm going just to tap on my screen to enter my waypoint. Very easy to use. So yeah, I'm just going to do a, a, a very uh, small test route. Um, when you're done, you can click on the top right on the green button to validate your route. And this is how I created the route. And you maybe have already noticed that there is a new route icon that just appeared on my iPad. And if I tap on it to expand the route, the exact same route I just created is available on my iPad. So here I can, for example, edit that route. Let's do it from the iPad. I'm going to tap on uh, a waypoint. I'm going to select move and I'm just going to drag that waypoint a little bit here. Okay. And I'm going to tap to validate and automatically the same route was updated on my phone. And then after when we will, uh, you know, uh, start the engine and go for a, a little trip here, uh, when I will activate the route and navigate on the route, everything will be synchronized, which is great because here I have my iPad mounted on my dash here. And this is my primary navigation tool. And, uh, you know, I can have my phone in my pocket. And if I am on the back fishing or doing whatever, you know, I can just take my phone and look at, you know, either my XTE or time to uh, go, time to arrival, or even make some tweak from the back deck, come back here and everything has been synchronized.